Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this Python Blotly tutorial, we will be looking at funnel charts. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so let us try to understand what funnel charts are. So I've, uh, I've uh, here I've basically shown a funnel chart where you can see uh, sales conversion across uh, how many people actually made the purchase. So a funnel chart is actually very good in representing uh, numbers where the continuous filtrations are happening. For example, in this example, you can see, okay, there were 100 pro prospects that filtered down to 80 of them where we pitched and out of them, 60 of them responded and, and so on, like five of them actually made the final purchase. So wherever we have data where we want to show that, uh, okay, this was the initial base and as we proceed ahead with the uh, with the further stages, this is what the number has remained to. Uh, so another example of a funnel chart would be uh, actually this. So YouTube Analytics also provides a funnel chart where you can actually see, okay, that what were the impressions as you can see here and then what has the click through rate been and then how many views uh, am I getting from the impressions and what was the total watch time um, that I got from the impressions. Right, so this is also an example of a funnel chart because it is in uh, the, the shape of a funnel which shows that okay, initially this was the number and that it filtered down to this number at the bottom. Right, so let us uh, create a, a funnel chart in uh, Python using Plotly. So here is the data that I'll be using. Uh, so here I have a stage where I have mentioned okay, what the initial value was and then finally uh, from my base customer, these many were impressions, visits, clicks and finally 39 shops took place. Okay, so that's the data that I'll use. To create a very basic funnel chart, we just need to mention the data frame and then the what the X would be, what the Y would be. Y in our case is the stage as we see and then we have the value. So this our basic funnel chart is being created. So let us try to create a stacked funnel chart where we'll show two groups, group A and group B and then we'll show the conversions across these two groups. So how I have changed the data is, uh, as you can see here, this is how I've changed the data that, that from website A, what is the, what does the funnel look like? And then from website B, what does the funnel look like? So here I simply need to add a color state, uh, color attribute here, as you can see here, which tell me, tells me website and my, this website would also get added as a legend. So here I can see, okay, so the base of website B was 600 for A, it was 500. And then in uh, the final shops made from website A were 39 and from website B, they were 43. Uh, so now we'll try to uh, improve on this funnel chart by adjusting the chart size first that we can simply do by mentioning the width and the height. Next I'll be changing the colors. So in the colors you would need to mention specifically that what the color needs to be for website A by mentioning this and then what the color specifically needs to be for website B. This can be done by adding this attribute called color discrete map. So here our colors have changed. And then let us also add a, a add the, the chart title and let us customize the legend. So initially you, you would notice that the legend is mentioned on the right side but I want it uh, to be at the bottom so that in one view you can see the, the legend as well. So how I've changed the le legend is uh, by using the statement called update layout and then I've mentioned the what the orientation of the legend would be horizontal and then the y and then the x of the uh, legend. Uh, to add the chart title, we can simply use uh, fig.update layout like we have been using in the previous uh, uh, plotly charts as well. The final thing that I would do in this chart is changing the theme. So that we can simply do by adding this uh, statement called a template equal to plotly white. So there are other themes as well, such as plotly dark, seaborn, and ggplot2 that uh, you can explore on your own end. Uh, so that was all, guys, for this video. Thank you for watching.